Begin with well-moisturized skin. Apply primer. This is to protect your skin from the face paint. Apply some eye primer. This is to protect the eye area from the face paint and prevent creasing. Use some white face paint. Mine is water activated, so I'll have to wet my sponge before applying it. Apply it on the face, neck, shoulder, and wherever your skin is exposed. Set the face paint with white eyeshadow or powder. Select a royal blue eyeshadow and lightly dust it on where the face paint is. Before the eye makeup, wearing a pair of white contact lens will make the entire year look almost like Emily. Select a dark blue eyeshadow with a small eyeshadow brush and line slightly lower from your lower lash line. Bring the eyeshadow up on the eyelid and apply it on the outer corners and on the crease line. This is to create larger and rounder looking eyes. Select royal blue again and apply it in the middle of the eyelid and the inner corners. Remember to keep it below the crease line. Select black eyeshadow and apply it at the outer corners. This is going to be larger, rounder, and smoky eyes. Use a white eyeliner, apply it on the waterline. Widen up the lower lashes to camouflage it. Select the white eyeshadow again, set the white eyeliner and the lashes. Using a black eyeliner, line the upper lash line. Apply it over the dark blue to redefine your new lower lash line. Also, Draw a pair of sad brows using the same eyeliner. Emily has sharp nostrils. Just draw two triangular shapes to replicate hers. Select a pair of thick spider false lashes and stick them onto your lash line. Use your favorite black mascara and apply them on only the upper lashes. Using false lower lashes and stick them onto the new lower lash line. Use black eyeliner to cover up those lash glue. Select a pink lip liner. Line your lips. Draw the lips slightly curved up on the outer corners, just like Emily's. When you're lining your lips here, you want to line it slightly away from your lip line to create bigger lips. Color up your lips with that lip liner. Using a pink lipstick, apply it over the lip liner to even out the lip color. Using a lighter pink lipstick and layer on the previous lip color in the middle of the lips to create the pouty effect. What's a cop sprite without the blue hair? Here, I'm wearing a blue wig that I purchased it from eBay. 
I'm also going to show you how to DIY her hair bun. You'll need royal blue felt, a pair of scissors, craft glue, blue hair band, fabric chalk, needle and matching thread. Using the fabric chalk, draw seven small flower petals. Cut the petals using the scissors. Also, cut a longer strip of felt like so. Take one of the petals, sew across at the base of the petal. Pull it tightly, knot, and cut the thread. Repeat the same steps to the other petals. Combine four petals by sewing it through at their base. Once you're done, it should look like a flower. Repeat the same steps to the rest of the three petals. Take the longest strip, roll it and sew it at the base. Combine it with the petals by sewing it through in the middle. Then combine with the four petals. Now you get a flower. Repeat the same steps to create more flowers. I made five of them. Taking the craft glue and hairband, glue the flowers onto the hairband. Once you're done, let it sit on something that could hold it and allow it to dry. For the view, I'm using an interior lace. You can always use white fabric. Trim off the edges. Cut a half oval shape. Be sure to cut off the edges to make it look more rounded. Wear the wheel and secure them with bobby pins. And wear the hairband. Almost forgot this. Use a white eyeliner and create a triangular shape to create the exposed teeth. Set it with white eyeshadow. Use black lash glue and apply it around the triangular shape. This is to create the texture as though the skin is flattened. Use black eyeliner, draw out the teeth. Create round edges for the teeth because teeth are not perfectly square. Apply black eyeshadow around the lash glue to make it look more three-dimensional. Also on the teeth. Pops doesn't have white bright teeth, right? Also apply it on the forehead as though it's dirty. The look is now complete. It's haunting, creepy, and this look is perfect for Halloween. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween! Content Lens are sponsored by Unixo.com. Don't forget to visit my blog at livelofam.com for daily dose of beauty updates. Stay beautiful and be inspired always. Take care.